Now we will consider the muscles that are found in the anterior compartment of the arm. The first muscle we'll look at is the coracobrachialis. The coracobrachialis muscle has an origin on the coracoid process of the scapula and inserts and an insertion on the mid shaft of the humerus. The coracobrachialis is a flexor of the arm at the shoulder joint. The biceps brachii muscle, as the name implies, has two heads. The long head has an origin on the supraglenoid tubercle above the glenoid fossa of the scapula. And it would be in this region, but you can't really see it very well here. The short head has an origin on the coracoid process of the scapula, and you can see its origin right here next to that of the coracoid, coracobrachialis muscle. Both heads insert on the tuberosity of the radius, and that would be right about over here. The biceps brachii muscle is a powerful flexor of the forearm at the elbow joint. It is also a supinator of the forearm. And because of the, the head, the, because the heads cross the shoulder joint, this muscle would also contribute to flexing the arm at the shoulder joint. Directly underneath the biceps brachii muscle, you can see here the brachialis muscle. The brachialis muscle has an origin on the anterior surface of the humerus and inserts on the tuberosity of the ulna. The brachialis muscle is a, another powerful flexor of the forearm at the elbow joint. Now we will look at the posterior compartment of the arm, which has only one large muscle, the triceps brachii muscle. We'll look at each of the heads of the triceps brachii muscle. To better visualize the long head of the triceps brachii muscle, we're going to remove the deltoid muscle. Now we can see the origin of the long head of the triceps brachii. And you can see it coming out from between the teres minor muscle over here and the teres major muscle, which is right over here. The origin of the, the long head of the triceps brachii is on the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. You can see the long head going down towards its insertion on the olecranon process of the ulna where it's going to insert with the other two heads of the triceps brachii muscle. From this view, we can see the lateral head of the triceps brachii muscle. The lateral head has an origin on the posterior surface of the humerus, and it inserts with the other three heads on the olecranon process of the ulna. On this model, we can remove part of the lateral head of the triceps brachii muscle and see underneath the medial head of the triceps brachii. The medial head also has an origin on the posterior side of the humerus and with the other three heads will again insert on the olecranon process of the ulna.